Right, welcome to Mount Gambier for another Wednesday morning. Uh, just uh, about 1,100 cattle across the yarding today and um, quality starting to slip away a little bit. Just the start of our bullocks here now, we've got um, uh, Chris and Rose Allen's here, steers here, outstanding. They are at $2.94 after O'Connor ones and plenty of weight there as well. So the next pen we've got of, uh, of uh, Brown families and they're at $2.86 and great quality again. The second pen of Brown's here is at um, $2.78. Um, and they're off to Tees Narra Court. Just into uh, uh, the Nielsen families here now, and they're at $2.90, and great quality. Just here in pen 16 is the start of the Terra Nostras, um, and these here are at $2.84, and they're off to Tees Narra Court. Just the second pen of the Terra Nostras, and um, these steers in here at $2.94. Just another pen, uh, pen 18 of the Terra Nostras here, and um, these are probably the pick of them. Um, and these steers here at three dollars ten, and they're off to TFI. Just a pen of the um, a pen of seven of the Oakland Parks, and these uh, these steers here at two dollars ninety, and off to the feedlot. Uh, just the McSwain family here for a couple of steers now in pen two in pen twenty. Uh, the McSwain steers here, they're good quality in two dollars eighty six. Just a pen of feeder steers, um, the McSwain family again, and they're at $2.95. And um, that's a lot for our bullock run there today. Um, probably had some plenty of weight when Chris Allen's at the top there at $2.94. And then we're just back into sort of some more feedery type steers um, throughout the run. But the bullock job I felt for the top end was probably about five cents better. Um, and through the feeders might have been five to eight cents better. So I'll, just, uh, I'll see you in the yearlings shortly. Right, just the start of our uh, yearlings here. We've got two heifers of the McSwain family again, and they're at 272, and the uh, the bigger, heavier heifer in there at 268. Uh, just um, the next pen at two uh, two of the Oakland Parks at 278, and they're off the garrison. Uh, just a pen of uh, preg tested empty of the of Malcolm Littles, and these heifers here are at uh, at uh, two dollars eighty. Uh, pen 57, just six of the Karingles, and these uh, good quality heifers here made $2.90. Uh, there's two heifers in here of Dave Stevens, um, and they're at, uh, they're at $3 a kilo, off to Woodward. Right, just uh, two of the better heifers in here in pen 59, um, they're Kevin McLeod's, and they're at $2.98. And just a loiner of Kevin's in here at $2.75, and also a, uh, a mid back at $2.55. Three of the uh, loiner black steers in here are Kevin McLeod's, and they've made $3.10. And um, just the other heifers in here have uh, ranged from $2.75 to $2.48. Pen 61 just coming across to uh, the Beaton family, and these are, uh, these are bull cubs. Uh, there's 14 in this pen, and just the following pen here now, we've got, uh, there's 21 in there, and uh, both pens of them have gone to midfield at $2.50. Just a pen of the McLeods here, these are just a little bit staggy, these blokes here at $2.47. Right, so that's our yearling run there for today. Pretty short and sharp, and um, quality just starting to drop off through our younger cattle um, in, into probably some more secondary type cattle. But uh, what we did have at the top end of our run that was was uh, well finished was uh, was well paid for. So um, probably the yearling run there today. I think the top end of the cattle there might have been five to eight cents better, um, and the secondary cattle probably five cents better across them as well. So I'll uh, see you shortly on the cows. Right, just the cow run now. It's pretty short and sharp. The two, uh, the two big simi heifers here in the loin, uh, the two simi cows there at $2.36. There's a couple of mid backers over the other side there at uh, $2.24. Um, and then we've just got a good, um, a good no brand cow over the other side there at, uh, at $2.24 as well. Uh, these uh, cows in here, only younger sort of type cows, but uh, just sort of lean enough, but um, they're at $2.17. Just the no brown cows in here, the three of, they're at uh, $2.14 and they're off to uh, off to Garrison. And then we've just got a couple of uh, painted cows over the other side there and they're at $1.70. And you'll just see a little shoulder heifer type in there, she's, uh, she's made $2.30 a kilo. So that's our uh, cow run there today. Um, the cow job might have been about five cents stronger, um, but not, not, not a lot of numbers here either. So like I said before, 1100 over the whole lot numbers starting to come back so um, my sort of suggestion may be that if you do have some good cattle even if you've got to go through 100 cattle to take out 20 let's get the top end moving along because uh, we're starting to get a little bit of rain here now 
but uh, as we all know, it doesn't rain feed, so if you uh, are short of a bit of feed, it's a long, gonna be a long winter, so if you do have a few there that uh, are ready, contact your agent and we'll um, get something done. Thanks for watching.